All right, welcome back to the Century Farm Organics YouTube page. Uh, last night we had some much needed rain finally come bless us. So today we are gonna do some corn head updates or upgrades, I should say. We bought some G4 stock stompers for them from May West, but we actually got them through SNI Distributing out of Ohio. So. I am excited for to put these upgrades on our corn head and see how these things perform. There's a lot of rave about them on the internet. So here we are today going to install them on our 708C John Deere corn head. So let's go along for the ride, see how this goes. two brackets uh, on each side that will hold up our tubing that then holds up the um, stock stompers or the G4 stock stompers. So here they are. We got them just kind of set up loose then for right now. So they are just four bolts on each one, set them up loose. And then on we did that same thing on the other side. And then this end, on each end we have to drill holes in the plate to mount it on so or the bottom piece of the head all right we're gonna put this end piece on and I'm gonna try to hold the camera and drill at the same time and make this all straight sound like a plan no Good. all right as I was getting ready to drill out these holes. I figured out there was already pre-drilled holes in it, so that works a little bit better than drilling my own. So, yeah, who needs instructions, I guess, right? So we have the bandsaw there cutting apart the two by two, um, the two by two metal that they sent us to actually mount um, the G4s to. So these will actually mount onto that, onto those bars we're cutting. We had to cut two inches off the bottom main bracket that four of the stompers will mount to, and then we're cutting three and a half feet off of the brackets that go to the outside. So, so far it's going really easy. Um, pretty simple job actually. And once we get them mounted, we'll talk about the benefits of these and why we're mounting these to our corn head. All right, we got all the pipes, or tubing I should say, laid in here. And then Kyle's putting on those brackets that hold on the stompers. So he's working away at that with bolting them up with some U-bolts and got everything still kind of loose here we haven't tightened up nothing yet so hopefully that's not the wrong way to do things but that's how we're going to do this so that we make sure everything's centered where we want it so there he's adding another holder for the row unit i've been his designated bag opener guy so i've been doing a really good job at that making sure all the u-bolts and stuff are available for them. That's all you're good for some news.
now we just gotta go along and tighten all of the bolts. That's what we're doing. And then we're putting in all these brackets to hold on the actual stomper. I don't know what you want to call them. Pivoting bracket or whatever. So that's what Kyle's doing. He's just going along installing them every 30 inches. So just keep plugging away at that. All right, guys. So I'm going to talk through. We just have three more rows to mount up. Kevin's working on that right now. I wanted to talk through why we're doing this. So believe it or not, these stock stompers actually we're hoping help us with weed management next year. And so I wanna talk through how, in my mind, the adding these stock stompers is gonna help us with that. So this is our eight row 30 corn head. And so all these snoots, these are what we call corn snoots, those are, I have those all lifted up right now because the other day I went through and checked our grav gathering chains and tightened some stuff up, checked some oil, so I have those flipped up. But the way this corn head works is the corn's gonna come through, so we'll, we'll run this down our rows and the corn comes through right here. So that's why we have those stock stompers lined up in the row. So. With, this is a chopping corn nut. I also have to caveat that. So right here, these knives will spin around. They spin at an awfully fast rate and they'll cut the corn off. And typically where we're running our head, they're cut off about six to eight inches above the ground. Well, so those, if you know anything about corn, they're super, super rigid when you take off all the top of it. It's just like kind of cutting down a tree. When you cut down a tree and you leave just a stump, you can't move it. Well, so what we're hoping with these G4 sock sompers is it'll actually break, not just bend them over, but actually break our stocks right at the ground so that it's getting some, it's cracking that stock and maybe even down into the roots, but right at the roots so that we're ex expediting our breakdown of our corn stalks. So we need those corn stalks to break down because if you've been on, if you've watched any of our other videos, our treffler doesn't like stalks, but our treffler is probably the best weed tool we have right now. So we need that thing to be on its A game and I'm hoping these stock sompers are gonna help that treffler work better. So I don't know if that, if I explained that well enough for it to make sense to you guys, but what we're trying to do is just break all those socks, just start cracking them because all you need is air and those socks will start to mold and break down over the winter. And the other reason we put them on is, so by the way, this is our combine. I probably should tell you guys that. This is our 9670 STS. We run eight row chopping cornet and a 35 foot flex draper on this combine. And as you can see, we're getting some stubble damage. Um, we put on these big logging tires. A couple years ago when it was super wet, we had duels on. We went to these with rear wheel assist and now we can go through a lot of mud. But we typically don't like to go through too much mud, but we can if we need to. So as you can see, there's nowhere for the rows to feed through this tire. We run them all over. So if those are broke and laid over the same direction as the combine's going, we're hopefully gonna quit doing damage to our tires. And yeah, I have to caveat that. We bought these used and they were already stubble damaged, but try to get as much life out of these tires as we possibly can, cause they're not cheap. So yeah, that's kind of the main thing. And then we'll save our tracks on the RX and the grain cart, the quad track, things like that, that are running through our fields. Uh, take grain away, keep grain away from this as it's running through the field and then to mulch up our socks, incorporate our socks with the quad track and that machine back there. No idea if I'm pointing to the right thing right there. That is our 5200 enforcer. That is another thing that that's crucial for that treffler to run good. That incorporates our socks. The one thing about that is that this year, I noticed in our fields that we ran that a lot in, we had quite a bit of root balls in. So I'm hoping, we had sock sompers on here before. They weren't good, they weren't the G4s. They were pretty, they're pretty wore out. Um, so we had a spring on there. 
There wasn't a lot of spring pressure left in them. There are probably things we could do, but I wanted to go to these because I just really think we're going to help our weeding next year by if these crack and break those root balls, those root balls should break down better over the winter and we should have less of them in the spring. That's my theory. Um, not really a super expensive gamble to see if it pays off. Um, we got a good deal on these at the Farm Show Farm Fest here in Minnesota. Um, so yeah, that's why we're putting them on. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys those G4 stock stompers and how them go on and what our plan for them is and what we're hoping for. So this is where we're going to end the video. It's the end of the day, Friday. Probably going to have the weekend off with how much rain we got. Didn't get a whole lot of zapping done this week. Um, with the rain we got, but that's okay. We needed the rain very, very badly. We ended up getting close to two and a half inches of rain this week. That was that is easily the most rain we've had since we planted. I think we've only had in total an inch and a half of rain since we were all planted. So yeah, we needed the rain very, very badly. That was a good thing to have. So as you can see, as I span the farm, we got all the equipment up in the shed. We ended up just yeah getting those stompers on today. Um, finishing up the one of the semis that should be ready to go for the end of hauling and the start of uh, fall fall hauling um, soybeans and corn and yeah we also worked on our sunflower head didn't record that there were a few cuss words and frustration involved in that one but just waiting on two parts for that and that'll be done so yeah as you can see to the east all that behind me there's some looks like some pretty wicked storms that way so yeah, this is where I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll uh, do another giveaway on the way to when we get to 500 subscribers. I'm going to let the other giveaway go for a little bit longer. I'll write that in the comments of that video. All right, so if you're watching this video and you haven't watched that video, head on over there and check it out. See what you got to do to enter our 400 subscriber giveaway, and hopefully you're the lucky one chosen. So... Yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with some friends. We'll see you in the next one.